next patient. I, I got laryngitis and after that I rested for about 10 days. And I did not teach, I did not teach for 10 days. But after I recovered from laryngitis, I began my, uh, my usual load. I began teaching my usual load. And from then on, this became gradual with me. This is a young man who had severe spasmodic dysphonia. He was diagnosed by Hans von Leyden, one of the foremost ear, nose, and throat doctors in the world. And Hans von Leyden was recently honored for his contribution to the field of voice pathology. And it was my pleasure to have been associated and work with him at UCLA Medical Center some years back when I was on the staff and later on the faculty at the UCLA Medical Center and head of neck division. Um, Hans von Leyden was honored by Cita Sinai, as I indicate, for his outstanding services to the uh, field of speech pathology. And the question comes up, is the diagnosis of SD spasmodic dysphonia spasmodic dysphonia? In the previous uh, case, the ear, nose, and throat doctor is one of the foremost in the world as well. And in the previous case, with the young lady, uh, was diagnosed at Scripps by the foremost ear, nose, and throat doctors available to treat and diagnose spasmodic dysphonia. The point I'm making is spasmodic dysphonia is spasmodic dysphonia that I'm working on. And now we're going to listen to the voice that is cured of spasmodic dysphonia by what I do, direct voice rehabilitation. I, uh, was, uh, I was told by you to practice and uh, keep my breath and keep my breathing at the right time and use the right level and the right tone focus. How long did it take you to do that? Here, here it took about one year, but when I left Los Angeles, I had about 75 to 80 percent improvement. And I went back to it. First year I was teaching, I had a little problem. But starting the second year, I gained full recovery. This is a gentleman who has been cured of spasmodic dysphonia or spastic dysphonia, you can use either term in this case, for approximately 25 to 30 years. He remains asymptomatic and it's, uh, it's a pleasure to tell you that spasmodic dysphonia is curable by direct voice rehabilitation. <laughs>